usually meningiomas are very slowly growing tumors they can present in different ways to start with sometimes meningiomas can be completely silent and they can grow to a huge size that when a tumor grows slowly the surrounding brain gets time to adapt to it and so there is no functional loss or there is no sudden increase in the intracranial tension so they can be completely asymptomatic however there comes a point after which there is rapid worsening and the patient can suddenly become unconscious after that particular tip off point if the tumor goes on increasing in size there is progressive increase in the intracranial pressure or intracranial tension so it presents as headaches uh, vomiting a uh, blurring of vision sometimes double vision at times it presents with uh, worsening consciousness uh, the relatives tell us that the patient remains drowsy usually it is a gradual change in personality and uh, relatives notice it uh, very very slowly because it doesn't happen in one day so patient becomes lethargic he becomes depressed sometimes patients can have very different kinds of uh, emotions uh, which they report to the relatives depending on the site of the tumor the fifth group is because of uh, the meningioma obstructing the flow of brain fluid or csf when it does so there is sudden increase in the volume of the fluid inside the skull or csf and uh, there can be sudden increase in pressure and patient can become unconscious the next group of symptoms is loss of function of the neural structures which are surrounding the meningiomas as the meningioma is increasing in size it will it presses on the surrounding structures uh, suppose let's say the meningioma is going on the left side and it presses on the motor strip then person can have reduction in power in the right hand right leg right side of the face so it is loss of uh, nervous function similarly the meningioma is growing near the cranial nerves or the nerves which come out of the brain and then go to the different structures in on our face like optic nerve which is a, a nerve of vision or vestibular cochlear nerve which is a nerve of hearing and balance facial nerve which is a nerve of movement of face so if meningioma starts pressing on these nerves there is loss of function of these nerves for example the meningioma is pressing on the optic nerve the patient will complain of progressive loss of vision